Hey, hello everyone, this is Michael for Spirit Comics. Welcome to New Comic Book May 2020, Day 30, where I review Midnight Mystery Issue 2 from Alterna Comics. If you don't know what this is, hold on, I'll tell you right after this. Hey, thank you for stopping by. If you are new here, please do subscribe. Click the notification bell so you do not miss any new uploads. Also, please do give this video a thumbs up because it does help the channel. Also, please do leave a comment and share this video around because that helps this channel as well. Thank you so very much and may you enjoy this video. All right. Now, I would like to thank the person who subscribed to me recently. I don't know who they are because I didn't receive a notification. I just noticed recently that I was at 195 subscribers. And uh, that's... That, I'm, I'm glad for that because five more and I will hit 200. I'm not, not sure what I'm going to do when I hit 200. Thank you to those who keep leaving me comments like the gray man and superior review superior he reviews all right let's get into this issue the cover is nice it tells us that uh roland blackwood is in this story it says real evil you know, playing to the notion that he is the or what he was, a horror show movie host. And I do like this touch that they put in here. This is very nice. Previously on Midnight Mystery, just like it, it, it reminds me of back in the 1990s when I would, would watch uh, X-Men, the animated series. Previously on X-Men, the animated series. <laughs> So it it gives just a few panels, you know, the detective coming to the house asking how it can be of some help, and then him and the kid, kid Conrad, Conrad getting uh, trapped there, gassed, but not to death. Now, th this page, I was like, oh no. Why do I say oh no? Because I I have a good idea where this was in, in taken from. This this I believe is inspiration taken from Tom King's Mister Miracle Run, the one I dropped because well the covers just kept getting worse and worse. And I, after two issues, or two or three issues, I was bored. But this is something Tom King would do. There would be a pic, there would be a panel with a picture, then a panel with nothing, with nothing but uh, one word, and a black background. This doesn't even make sense to me. This is a dream, right? Sure. Then I don't want to be here. It's your done. Where are where are we going? The last time we saw each other, so he's thinking of someone. Sure. Yes. You know it's not real. Please. I mean th those statement those statements and you know responses to each other make no sense. He's dreaming, apparently. And what, one of these days you're going to break a rib. Good. Then you won't leave. Zeke, what if? Don't. But he has to wake up. So he wakes up and finds himself strapped to a chair. And the kid in uh, 
inside of a, a circle with candles all around it. And right next to him is the head of his deceased father, or at least were believed to be he's deceased. And it doesn't even look like, look like a skull. This is uh, staring at what's supposed to be my deadbeat dad's skull. So yeah, it's supposed to be. And the butler is quite cryptic. So they're not able to get anywhere except there's a backstory of how this weird skull came to be. Roland Blackwood was dying. And so he went to this witch to see if she could help him. And somehow she puts his soul into a paper mache skull. Buying time until a transfer was possible from Roland Blackwood to a living relative. Blood relative. That's where he comes in. The son. And so you see the essence seeping from the paper mache skull into his head. Now the two are in the same, the same mind. It's your father. This can't be. Conrad, I need you to listen. For you to work, you need to accept it. You need to, need to accept me. How do I know? That I'm your father? You know the answer. I mean, come on. This is... This is not silly, but... It's just kind of... Uh, well... It, it's, it's freaky, man. It's like something you would see in a, a horror movie. Then in comes his stepsister. Who's been following his exploits since he left her a long time ago. And she became a very wealthy woman because it, she had she inherited her dad's uh, business sense apparently I mean I think this character could have been really good a really good addition to the story but she wants to stop this seance and she attempts to but the butler shoots her and down here we have caution fertilizer highly flammable I did not know that fertilizer was flammable apparently the seance is ruined but the transfer took place or at least it seems that way. But the kid does not realize it at that moment. Then later, this is the detective back in his studio and uh, recording another one of those tapes. I, I was, I guess it wasn't a broadcast studio after all. And you know, this is him speaking. And then, here he is later handing it to uh, someone, uh, I forget his name, to, I don't know what he's going to do with it. And then here he is again, you know, th it continues from here to here that he's still talking. I don't know why they put this one panel, or these two panels in the middle. It, I, I don't understand that at all. It doesn't make any sense to me. You know, part of enjoying a comic book is... It is being able to at least understand from looking at the panels of how the story is moving. So then again, it's, you know, 
he's talking to him saying okay and you know what whatever you don't have to finish these recordings so quickly then he's again talking in the mic before it was finished then the two of them are walking to who knows where and it says next issue burning bridge okay that was kind of convoluted I think confusing to me then it has sort of like an epilogue later on the kid is at home he's watching TV and all of a sudden on the screen is his dad and I don't know why they did this but they decided to put all of the dad's speech bubbles in ba printed backwards. I do not think that was an accident. So I'm si sitting on my porch looking at this and thinking, I have no idea what he's telling the kid. But whatever he tells the kid apparently is accepted in the young student's mind because now he looks kind of like a, a skeleton with flesh because of the mouth there. So I have no idea what's going on now. But maybe in the next issue it will be explained. Because this one, very confusing. It wasn't it wasn't very enjoyable. So you know, sometimes there are writers who are hit or miss. That one issue will be good, the next one will be not so good. Well, this one's not so good. So I hope the next one's better. Maybe you, maybe you, you guys who bought this can tell me what was said in, in the backwards print because I couldn't read it. I would have to hold that up to a mirror in my, the mirror in my bathroom to read it because I don't carry a portable mirror or anything. Oh, goodness gracious. Well. I do thank you for coming by. If you're new here, please do subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss any new uploads. Also, please do give this video a thumbs up and share it around. And don't forget to comment because all of that stuff does help the, help my channel. Thank you ever, ever so much. And thank you to those who ha have been commenting on my videos. I really do appreciate it. Till next time, true readers, I am Michael for Spirit Comics. May all your news be good news.